Well, now that I know that the adapter works at Tesla superchargers, I don't always have to use them because, uh, well, they're way more expensive. But knowing that I have the CCS, yeah, that's, that's all I need. Also, when I drove past the Tesla dealer down there, they have like nine stalls, all destination chargers, but every one of them was being used by a cyber truck. That's just crazy. They don't leave any space for any of the other cars, let alone their own cars, just cyber trucks. Whipping into the rest area here. These are the chargers I tested the other day with the Nissan. People are asking what Magic Dock is. Magic Dock is where in fact, this is the very first charger I used was 1C. But you would disconnect that cable, plug it into a little thing that was over there, and it would connect a CCS and pull it out, and then you plug that into your CCS car. We don't have magic docks here. So, uh, in fact, in fact uh, later on today, I might go ahead and bring my car back and show it step by step. I've been getting lots of comments. It, you can't do it. It doesn't work that way. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we want to see step by step. Because it looks like you're using a magic dock. We don't have magic docks. It is a little bit crazy here at the Turnpike. It is later in the evening. And I am going to try and do a video showing exactly what I do if I want to charge my Nissan Leaf at a supercharger just depends if there's Tesla's there and it's full or not there's not that many of them that, I mean a lot of Tesla's but not that many chargers and it does look like there is a few well let's see I don't want to hog one up but let's take this last one oh righty Ruth first thing we're first thing we're gonna do is shut the car off and pop open the hood and the very first one I tried last time was C1, so I know it worked, so let's give it a shot again. Trunk is a mess, don't look at it. First, we need the CCS adapter. This is what makes all the magic happen. We need that, and we need this. Hard to do with one hand. Okay, first thing we do is we put the Chatamo adapter in and lock it into place. Then we take this and plug it into here. And next, it's this. Now I'm gonna have to, definitely gonna have to, I'm, I'm recording this with my phone, so I gotta activate the charge real fast with my phone, then I'll get back to recording. Hold on one second. I think it's I think it's okay to plug this in first. Yeah, it is. That is what we're looking at, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a working. So it is not a magic dock. It is just a regular charger. Okay, I I can't show it because I'm recording on my phone, but the Tesla app is showing the speeds now, which is cool because the very first time I did this, it did not show speeds or how much power the power input was. So right now I'm actually only getting 52. So I'm only getting 52 kilowatts an hour, but it is working and it, it's, uh, man, I want to show you with leaf spine and stuff like that, but then I can't record because I'm using my phone. So, but it is, it's, I'm getting 52 kilowatts and everything is working pretty good. Trify America is definitely faster. At least at these chargers. I don't know. If, I don't know if there's different, you know, like 350 kilowatt machines, 800 kilowatt machine. I don't know how Tesla does all their stuff. But hey, it is what it is. I can charge. That's all that's important. And I actually needed to charge just enough to get to Electrify America, which is about 30 miles away. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in, check out how much it costed me, and then head on over to EA. For those of you that don't believe me that it's working, it is all fake, there's a Tesla right Look, Watch this, watch this. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello? <laughs> Hold on a sec. 
Would you do me a favor? Okay, I'm, you're not on camera, but I, I'm trying to prove to people that it does work. You can see it's working, right? Uh, you, I, you, I'll go ahead. <laughs> it's working, right? See, even a Tesla owner knows it's working. So, because I'm I've getting. Never seen it? Yeah. But yes, uh, a couple of days ago, I was recharging because I live right here in the village. Yeah. And Don't you wish our chargers at the hotel would get back up and running normal? Yes. Yeah. It's driving me crazy. Uh, you in the villages too? No, I live in no, Wildwood. And there was another car parked the same way you are. And I'm saying, well, why are these people? We're not backing in. Here? You're not backing in. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a Tesla. And um, I must have one too. Isn't it crazy? Because others were pulling in, didn't say anything to them. And well, I was over here in the same spot. And I just kept watching and I couldn't see because there was another car. Yeah. Now you want to get the scene. And well, you're the sweetest ever. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. With that. Oh yeah, thank you. It's working great. That's all I gotta know. All right. All right. So there you guys have it. It does work. Another a Tesla driver over there just said, "Yep." Yeah. So you've seen it. And I just, there you go. Okay. Let's put that away. All right. Let's head on down the road to Electrify America and finish our charge. All right. Let's get the adapter out and finish our charging session. At a place that's a little easier on the wallet. Okay, everything's going good, going good, going good. Let's hit continue, just cause I like to. charging it takes a few minutes for it to fill up i don't know why tesla machines don't have something like this where you can just watch it crank up and see how much you're going to be getting but yeah uh the chatamo i still prefer using the ccs rather than the teslas i don't know why it's just something i feel weird charging at a supercharger with a lot of tesla cars there maybe late at night when there's nobody else there it's okay but I, I, I don't know, I just get a weird feeling. But then again, Tesla's also charged here and I don't feel weird about it when they do it. So I don't know why I would feel weird charging at a supercharger. I just know that uh, I've seen people complain in Reddit anyway, Tesla owners that, uh, yeah, oh great, now we're not gonna be able to use our chargers because every car is gonna be charging there. Yeah, but they charge here too. Anyway, that's today's experience. Tesla supercharger test complete once again. And also Chatamo or CCS to Chatamo test again, working flawless. It does feel good. It does feel good. If any of you guys, honest, no joke, if you guys would like one of these adapters, click the link below. I, I'm going to put a link in there. Uh, for a crane and six pence ev but uh, just click one of those i know at a crane they are on sale temporary i think for the holidays or something like that just click the link if you need assistance go to cust you know contact us or where whatever's at the bottom of the website ask for patrick and and he'll walk you through it or help you out if you have and, and also answer your questions because i really don't know anything i'm just a user like you guys i'm just somebody that uses the products and I don't, and I don't get any kickback or anything like that for putting that stuff in there. It's just honest opinions and honest showing stuff. It just works. Until the next time, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you guys probably from a different charger and maybe some crazy roadside attraction. I need to get back into that now. Now that things are starting to go back again to normal, road trip and roadside attractions. That equals the peace sign.